Hey guys, um, Ray35 here, and I just want to make a quick video because I know a lot of people struggle uh, with this matchup, uh, and this video is just going to be about how to take down the Asgardians with uh, with symbiotes. It's pretty it's pretty straightforward. But there's just a little bit of trickiness that you got to get over at the beginning. And you can punch up really, really high. Like, I punched up over... I punched up like 300,000 on this. So we're going to be punching up like 150,000 with a boost. And it should be fine. Um, there is some RNG that can go wrong here. So, sometimes you can lose. But, honestly, it doesn't happen very often. Especially now that my anti-venom is strong enough. So... You look at this, and this is pretty scary. This Thor is pretty huge. Um, Loki being huge doesn't really matter. And Hela, those are the three that you really need to look out for. Um, Loki being huge actually does not change much. Alright, so the trick here is... Whenever you kill the skeleton, you gain speed and you heal. But mostly you got to worry about the speed. And so you might think, um, okay, first things first, I got to take out Thor, which is true, but that's not the first thing we're actually going to do. So see, we're taking big hits here. That's all fine. And because we're disrupted, we actually didn't get taunt, uh, which is really good. Okay, so the first thing is I'm actually going to target Skeleton, and then I'm going to use Carnage's ultimate. And the reason I use the ultimate there is because... Um, because you just really want to make sure he dies. Probably could have done it without the ultimate, but that's okay. Okay, uh, and then we're just going to... I'm going to try and defend, or offense down Ella. And we got the skeleton anyways. Um, okay, since he's uh, disrupted, we're not going to ult right now. And we're just going to continue taking this guy down. So we lose some speed from him dying, but we gain 300. So we end up gaining 200 overall on all of our guys. It's it's totally worth it to continue doing that. We're going to ability block Hella. Because her big spread is pretty annoying. All right, see, we got hit by that but because Venom had gone first. Uh, we had defense up. So that's the only reason Scream is alive right now. And then we're going to do this. Continue killing. Every time that guy dies, we heal. Um, okay, and we're just going to kill him again. We're going to try and heal Scream back up. Okay, now here's another trick, is we need to disrupt Hella, And the reason for that is one of the things that um, can really screw us in this fight is if Hella gets stealthed, um, and, and everyone's stealthed, and the only thing that's left up is is um, is the Gregs, and if you keep killing them, you just keep getting more turn meter. So that's one of the that's one of the things that can actually screw us in this fight um, is basically getting timed out. Okay, so even though it's not that great to stun uh, Sif, we're still going to do it because we really just want the slows here. They're barely ever going to get to take a turn. Okay, and hit again. Uh, we're just going to get the immunity and the extra energy so I can... Alright, and now she no longer has... Uh, so now we're going to focus Thor. Uh, okay, and we're going to extend uh, Disrupt on Hela. That's really important. More important than extending uh, uh, Stun on Sif. So Sif doesn't really matter. We're just going to finish Hella off. Normally I go for Thor first, but just because the positioning of the skeletons, uh, it just happened to work out. So then we're going to go for Thor next. Obviously he can be pretty annoying, but at this point it's pretty much already over. Uh, there's really nothing that is scary to us anymore. Um, even though that does big damage, it actually did quite a bit of damage. But uh, we'll kill these skeletons off and gain some health back. Uh, and some speed. So we're going to ability block him just, just to be safe so he doesn't hammer throw us to death. And yeah, this is pretty much over. Bye, Thor. 
Um, and he's disrupted, so he can't even stealth himself. And so there's some different ISO setups and stuff like that that you can get on these guys, but for this matchup, it doesn't really matter. It's it's pretty easy. All you really need to worry about is is killing the skeletons at the beginning, because the, the trick is you want to get Venom to go before anyone else goes, and then you get um, and then you get defense up on everyone before Thor hammers down. Um, yeah. So anyways, I, I know there's other guides out there for this. I just wanted to show this uh, for anyone who might still be wondering about how that matchup works. and Because um, I've seen in quite a bit of wars, uh, even punch across is not working. And really, that's the that's the only trick to it. So, uh, okay, guys. Well, that that's it. That's all I wanted to talk about today. So I will uh, catch you guys later.